what is going on YouTube? I don't know how loud, how loud my air conditioner is being. We are uh, going to have a start a stretch of 100 degree days. And uh, so I'm out doing a little bit of lawn treatments. I mean, you guys are still doing treatments out there when it gets this hot. Here we just have to because it'll be this hot all summer long. Uh, right now the current forecast is the next 10 days we are triple digits. Normal for this time of year. It's summertime. So summer is here. Uh, so when you guys do applications, when you're putting down summer fur, or summer lawn treatments, whatever you want to call it, what are you guys putting out? I know a lot of people put out Milo, my Lorganite. I do liquid, um, not my Lorganite liquid, just liquid my product. Right now we're putting out Green County Ferns 700 and 004 I believe. The uh, Green Effect mixed with the Micro Green SK. Um, just got that in last week. And my shipment almost got lost. I mean, it is a, it's a long shipment to have come from Georgia to Washington. Um, no distributors closer to me, I guess. But uh, the trucking company dumped the whole pallet. And normally I wouldn't put them on blast, but Sia Trucking, you guys are shady, man. You guys try to get over on some stuff. We're still trying. So I didn't do a bucket count. So that's on me. I should have counted to. I was missing an entire row. And the guy at first, the dock worker that brings it out to me, he was like, yeah, you got a pallet of empty buckets? I'm like, no. I have a pallet of full buckets. Or at least I'm hoping I have a pallet of full buckets. And I was making a joke. And then I seen the pallet and the, the buckets were, if I still have the pictures, I'll put some pictures here or whatever of what the delivery looked like. It was horrible. Um, top row was all busted open, all crushed, and the lids were popped. And then I I went to open the cans, and yeah, they're totally empty. So I take the entire top row, nothing but empty buckets. So I'm like, holy crap. So I take that off. The guy puts the pallet up on my truck, and you know, I sign for it, and we notate the damages that I see. I get back to the shop and start busting the pallet down and putting it in the shop. So I don't have a forklift, so I have to break them down and you know take it off the truck by bucket. Uh, the whole middle of the pallet was empty buckets. So when they had dumped it over and restacked it, they had put full buckets on the outside. And that was it. The inside was empty buckets, the top layer was empty buckets. And they were trying, you know, they're trying to get over saying, well, you only you signed for eight buckets of damage. When in fact I was probably about I think 70 gallons shy of product after it was all said and done. Reached out to Greene County. They're taking care of me. Uh, the situation that, that has not been rectified yet, but so far it sounds like uh, I'm gonna get all my missing product and not have to pay another shipping cost because it's like 500 bucks to get that shipped here. So that's good, but I got enough product to get rolling, and uh, really that's all we're going to do is uh, we're going to go do a lawn app, take you with me, and then maybe take a look at uh, how my truck is set up. So there we go. Hang tight.
Alrighty. So I'd, I turned the camera off before I was done. So I, uh, that was the 700 and the microgreen SK that I put out in the lawn. And then I went back through with the first backpack you see me put on. That's a load of Sure Power. And that's like my preferred weed control. I love that stuff. It knocks out. It knocks out air. It'll even beat up crabgrass, uh, depending on how heavy you got it mixed. Uh, word of advice: don't get crazy with your mix rate and stuff. Uh, it'll it'll hurt grass. It'll it'll at least stress grass out if you got a real heavy rate. Um, I've I've done some double rates on lawns and got some callbacks, but. I've never killed it along with it, but I've definitely stressed some grass out. Um, anyway, I was just going by labeled rate right there for spot treatments. Um, crap. I want to say I was on the higher end. I think I'm. I think I'm doing it. I was doing it a uh, ounce a gallon. That's how I'm mixing that. I think I uh, might be wrong. But I believe, always check your labels, because the label is law. Um, I think you can go up to 1.28 ounce per gallon, or ounce per thousand square feet with that. Um, but I was using, there's some grass that's a little stressed that I treated, but it was heavy spurge. Uh, anyway. It works really good on broadleaf. Um, works really good on, even on grassy type weeds on the heavier side, like I was saying. But um, anyway, I mixed that one ounce per uh, thousand or one ounce per gallon because the flow zones you can get a gallon, a gallon per thousand out of. Um, depending on your tip and whether you're on high or low, and you know, there's all, all that stuff you got to account for. So I'm not telling you how to mix your product. Just telling you how I mixed mine. Um, so I turned the camera off because the neighbor is giving me the stare down. Oh, hers popped back nice. Good deal. Um, the neighbor was giving me the, the stare and the watch of me, so I knew eventually it was there was a conversation of some type coming. So I turned the camera off, put it away, he came over. He was just asking about spurge. That's that's kind of what we're what we're seeing in my area right now. And today's June 29th. Uh, spurge is making a pretty good come come back, come out, grow, whatever. Being a pain, um, starting to see some bindweed. Um, crabgrass is obviously in about. Uh, what would that be? The two tiller stage, I think, about where we're getting. Um, anyway, I will come out next week with my load. I don't have it loaded today, and I haven't decided on whether I'm going to come out with Pilex or come out with Tenacity. Probably just going to start hitting them with Pilex because I'm seeing Bermuda grass in the lawns too. So I might just start doing some Pilex apps. Um, start knocking the crap out of that junk. Um, there's a mix. It's just, just not Pilex by itself. But the uh, Pilex Turflon and MSO is a good mix. Uh, when I start hitting the Bermuda grass, which is not a, a grass here. It is a weed. Nobody wants it. We're cool, ski, cool season turf here. Uh, so when the common Bermuda, Bermuda starts making its way out, People get mad. <laughs> so that's what we're fighting. But right now, it's spurge is the main thing I'm seeing in lawns. I've seen a little bit of brown patch. Uh, NRS, not so much. Usually, it's NRS that I see a lot in this area. I should have did a video on the brown patch because that was the first one that I've actually had to deal with on my lawns. And her lawn was first. The guys were uh, mow crews were putting notes in. Hey, this lady's lawn has got hot spots, dry spots, which a lot of times that's what it looks like. And then she emailed me. So then I went out to look at her lawn, and I'm like, I 
pull up to it, and I'm like, holy crap, yeah. But I know she waters the crap out of her lawn. And I walked up to it, and sure enough, the, the soil was moist, and this is midday. So I'm like, all right, it's definitely not a hot spot. And then I pull a couple blades, and sure enough, there was that little hourglass in there. Uh, so I was like, all right. I was like, we're looking at some brown patch. And I hit it with propicon just just propiconazole. Um, I don't want to just come off the cuff with my mix rate because I don't do a lot of fungicides. Uh, but I know I was at a curative rate, and I don't remember what it was. Maybe that's the 1.28. I don't know. Anyway, for some reason, 1.28 is flying around in my head, uh, but I don't remember exactly. And then I came back 14 days later, which it was pretty much wiped out. Uh, I wish I had it before. I had the after 14 day picture, but I might put that up there and maybe the whole front lawn was brown and I think it looks pretty good for 14 days. Uh, but I went ahead and I hit it again with uh, propa, propiconazole on the lower side rate and oxystrobin. Uh, I like that mix for fungicides and uh, showed back up 14 days after that because the way I do my fungicide program is an application every 14 days, three apps and I, I've had really really good success with that uh, usually, well like this one the second app was pretty much there was nothing there but I went ahead and hit it anyway and then my third app or the, the 14 days again I didn't even do an application it was totally non-existent uh, so it had really really good results anyway uh, that's why I'm going well what I'm doing or what I did and right now I'm going to another application but there's no point in watching me walk walk along again I uh, probably shouldn't even watch them walk along the first time because it's kind of boring it's like watching somebody mow grass I it's just not what I what I'm down I like to hear, not not see, so they walk back and forth. But anyway, uh, I'm going to get to these apps. I just got a few more left. I'll get them knocked out. And then we'll find maybe a shady spot that's not clobbered with people. And just do a walk around the truck and how my spray rig set up. Alright guys, so it's been, I don't know how many days since I started this video. But, uh, I don't know, a couple weeks and a haircut later maybe. So anyway, we'll finish this video up and I just want to show you the outside and our, how my rig is set up. This is my, uh, my spray rig. So 2012 F-350, uh, you know, flatbed, nothing special. <clears throat> so what we have set up here, I have 150 gallon and I know this is the spray rig that I've started out with. This thing, this skid sprayer has been in my F-150. Uh, I think it's been in the F-250. Now it's on the F-350. Uh, I need to upgrade it to a larger one since we're growing now. But right now, this is what I'm rolling with. Um, so 150 gallon skid sprayer, 300 foot, 3 8 inch hose. I believe that's where I'm at on that. Uh, this is a 35 gallon, 35 gallon um, nurse tank, so just clean water. I know a lot of guys do gravity feed. Uh, you can see I got this one cock, cocked up a little bit. I catch myself on heels a lot. And I have a battery pump on it. I just have a car battery back here. I just throw the, I just throw the leads on it turn it on as I'm filling up my backpacks um, these are both flow zone backpacks uh, I like the two and a half gallon backpacks I'm getting old I don't like slinging the four gallons around anymore I don't do a whole lot of a whole lot of spraying on the lawn side as much I mean this is a lawn tank this uh, right now I think I've, I have sure power and tenacity loaded in it because uh, we're starting to see some crabgrass so I like putting tenacity on that. Uh, the sure powers for everything else. Tenacity, I don't have very good luck when I've when it's been on broadleaf. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, this tank, 
I painted the cap red on it. Uh, this is a kill everything. So if a, if a backpack has a red cap, it lets me know that, hey, I, I just want to spray this in rock beds or places where we do not want anything. And I'm using Quick Pro SC. I believe that's what I'm using. Let me look at my truck real quick. Yeah, the Roundup Quick Pro uh, SC. That's what I've been using. I've been getting really good kill and uh, effectiveness out of it. The kill is light. Anything that's been sprayed with that. It's really expensive, but it's working really well. I'm mixing it at six ounces a gallon. So if you guys want to check that out, I know. I used to use RM43 and I like that, but that uh, it's about impossible for me to get a hold of anymore. So this side, I just, uh, I always keep a couple bags of some kind of granular on here. Uh, this isn't the granular I normally use, but it's pretty close. I just picked it up at Lowe's. It's the Lowe's brand. Uh, I mean, this is just a 2204. I only use it really if my tank, if I tank out before I'm done with my route, then uh, like today's going to be close. I only have... 50 gallons in there and I've got 45,000 square feet to spray so I, I will tank out today and then I just have an echo RB60 push spreader not a big not a big deal I need to go back to I like the Shindawa RS76 I think that's the number on it I like that as a push spreader but that's like about a third of the cost so anyway I just wanted to get an outside shot of my uh, my spray rig set up and what I'm rolling this with for my fertilizer and weed control. And right now in my liquid tank, I think I mentioned it in the first part of the video, I'm rolling with Green County's Green Effect and Green County's Micro Green SK mixed together. Uh, that's a pretty good mix right now. So 150 gallon tank and I've been putting five gallons each in. I need to lower that down a little bit. But we're trying to get some good pop right now. So I'm spraying a little heavier than I normally do. So I just wanted to get that. I know I haven't done a video in a long time and I wanted to show my, my spray rig set up since I get asked about it a little bit. Um, it's kind of the side of the business that I would like to grow more even though the, the mowing side just naturally grows I mean I still do some advertising for mowing but really the only sorry I'm just pulling out uh, more of the mow <clears throat> more of the advertising I do is geared to uh, lawn treatments or pest control and yeah, but the mowing side's still growing. Uh, I'll do a later video on some of the, the trials we've had this year and how I don't remember if I mentioned it in the, in the first part of this video. So I'll edit it out. We dropped, uh, I don't know, 60 or so customers between both them being bad customers and having to drop due to some employee transitions that happened. But anyway, we're back to where we were. We've recovered from it finally. Uh, rolling two two-man crews on the mowing side. And then I'm doing the spray, the, the lawn and the pest. Even though that's getting to where I'm probably going to have to, I don't know if I can find a lawn guy mid-season, uh, but we're getting to where I'm probably going to have to split off and get a spray tech to come in for the lawns and then I, I can branch off and do the pest because that's still, that's pretty light and that gives me the time I need to do the back end stuff. Uh, we have an office manager now, so... A lot of things have changed this year, but anyway, I just wanted to show the setup I had going on, and now I am going to spray along.